I know, I know, guys, I know. But we have to talk about Fresh and Fit again. Again! Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy YCV Man, and today we have a reaction video. Today we are reacting to a video called Myron Goes Off on Watcher That Hates Castle Club. But before we get into it, I have something that I have something to address really quickly. I have seen multiple comments that have basically been saying that my spiels at the beginning of my videos are way too long you know this was me basically trying to promote myself but you guys say you guys just want me to get straight to the video so that's what we're gonna do i'm just gonna tell you guys to don't forget to share like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and i appreciate it but without further ado let's just get into the video oh also one more thing I have to speed up the video because they stream this on Rumble and Rumble is very sensitive when it comes to copyright issues. I have to constantly explain this to you guys because you keep saying, why do you put it on such fast speed? I can't understand them. Listen closely, all right? It's not my fault. I I want this video to be monetized for obvious reasons. Anyway, let's get into it. Said he's a hater? All right, hater, let's go. What's up, welcome to the show, hater. 8472, you are up. I feel like Mano, hi, hater. Hey, what? <laughs> what? You know, Just a Mano, man. How do people know that, Myron? Yeah, Mano's a guy, though. I've never heard that song. Why? All right, Hater, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Should be Mano one. Uh, my name is Chris. All right, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Arizona. All right, what's your gripe with Fresh and Fitter complaint? So, I don't really have like a. I don't, actually, I do have a complaint, but my thing is, I've been watching you guys for like since the beginning, bro. And um, I, I really like you guys. I really like what you guys got going and everything. But the thing is, with the Castle Club, bro, like. I'm a marketing guy. I've been doing marketing for like four years now, and I know a marketing team when I see one. And it's cool that everybody else pays for it, but the people who don't pay for it, you say we're brokies. And it's like, bro, I've been watching you guys for three years, and you guys gave us the content without putting a paywall in front of it. But then you guys put a paywall in front of it and say that, oh, it's because you guys got to keep the lights on. But Myron had a whole temper tantrum when he said he made six million fucking dollars and he doesn't even need this shit. So I'm confused of why we have to pay thirty-five dollars to see the damn show. Myron doesn't even talk on the damn after-hour show now until they go to Castle Club. So I really just feel like I'm being fucked over here, bro. And I've been watching and supporting you guys for the longest period of time, bro, since you guys started. Okay. God damn. So this is what I was talking about. Hey, a lot of the fans are starting to wake up. And honestly, he's not he's not wrong. It is most definitely a marketing scheme for sure. Um, it's just I still find it so wild that you had to put a paywall behind your content because of your actions. And then if your fans do not pay for it, you make fun of them and call them brokies, which is insane and so disrespectful. It shows that you really don't care about your fans. You basically see them as a dollar sign. Right, number one, I never said that I made $6 million. I said I control $6 million worth of real estate. That's what I said. That's number one. Number two, when I mentioned no, that... It's, it's quoted. No, I never said I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. You said I have different. six million dollars. I don't need to do this shit. No, you literally I said, said no. I watch everything and listen to everything you, you say. No, Myron. you clearly can't. All right, can someone in the comments verify that Myron did say this? Because something is telling me if I look, I'm not going to be able to find this. So, can someone please find that rant where Myron basically where, where he was like, I don't need this shit. I have this. I have that. Can pl someone please find it? So, because I feel like he's he could be lying here, but I'm not sure. So, I'm not going to confirm or deny that he is lying, but he could be. Don't, because you, mis you misquoted what I said. I never All said right, I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. Your shit doesn't stink. All right, I'm hearing it. I'm listening. Bro, you're going to shut up when I answer your question? You said you asked your question, correct? No, you're going to shut up while I answer you it? You automatically go to fucking not taking responsibility for what the fuck you said. No, 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 because I'm correcting you, because you made an incorrect you, you, you statement. You yeah, 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 look, you bro, made an incorrect you, statement, so I'm correcting you. You're saying that you don't need us and don't need to do the show. You definitely said that. Bro. Okay, look, 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 let me just address clicked, this fucking bro. guy. It's fucking clip. Be quiet, <laughs> be quiet so I can answer this, all right? So this is what I'm going to say. All right, I'm listening, bro. You're li okay, did you, did you get everything else so I can actually address this? No, that's not the only thing I got to say. I got something else to say, too, about the, the foundational black thing. Cause okay, you that's all other topics. So let's address the first bro. thing first. Okay, the FBA shit. Now it's all starting to make sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, number one. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Bill's left already. All right, so let's address the first thing. The whole, I mean, you can go ahead and laugh. Yeah, bro, let me just finish bro, what I'm saying, bro. Just stop being emotional emotion for two seconds. Go ahead, I'm listening. I'm listening, bro. We'll Stop being emotional for two seconds. Flashback. It pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. It's ridiculous. You motherfuckers haven't stepped in the gym in three weeks trying to tell me how to be lost my friends. I'm not going anywhere. Right? You are a big sensitive ball of misogyny and racism. That is you. You are one of the most sensitive people on YouTube. What are you talking about? You do not reserve that right to call somebody else emotional when you do not know how to keep your own emotions in check your own emotions led you to get demonetized all off of youtube 
Okay. Number one, never said I made six million dollars. I said I control six million dollars worth of real estate. When I said I don't need this shit, what I mean by that is I can self-sustain and take care of myself if I didn't do the podcast. However, if I'm going to do the podcast, then we're running a business. To run a business, you need income. Therefore, it is not a business. Completely different. Me sustaining myself versus running a podcast are two different things, my friends. They're not the same. Number two, you mentioned that you work in marketing, etc. Let me ask you a fucking question. Let's say you had to go to your marketing job every single day and you weren't paid for it. Would you still go to that marketing job? No, you fucking didn't. Oh, this is this is kind of this is slimy. This is slimy. Are you kidding me? This is a slap in the face, right? This is a huge slap to the face to Fresh and Fit fans. Do you want to know why? Because you were not charging before. The only reason that you are charging now and that you have to charge is because you are no longer getting that YouTube money. That YouTube money was your bread and butter. YouTube pays really well. Trust me, I know. YouTube pays. They were getting bank. And when they stopped, being monetized on YouTube, it hurt their pockets. So they try to do what they were doing before without YouTube, but they realized that it wasn't financially sustainable. So that's why the whole Castle Club came into fruition. That is a huge slap in the face. So the only reason as to why your fans have to pay in the first place is because of you. You you would still be able to provide free content if you were still monetized on YouTube. If you do not if you do not go on those racist rants, if you do not say all that wild crap over social media, then you would still be monetized over YouTube. It's not even Walter's fault, it's your fault. You are the sole reason as to why you are no longer making any money on YouTube. This is your fault, dog. You were providing it free because you had the money to do so. But now that you made a mistake and you got your platform ripped away from you, now you want to charge your fans and call them brokies. That is so, that's scummy. That, you are a piece of crap, dog. No, I, no, I run my own marketing shit. Okay, all right, fantastic. Let's say you ran your own marketing shit and you weren't paid for a year doing that marketing shit. Would you still do it? I mean, it depends, bro. Exactly. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. The point I'm trying to get out here. Hold on, look, look, look. You said you would never ask for fucking money. Be quiet. Be quiet for two seconds. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet, man. I'm answering the fucking. I'm going into the situation here. Again, you wouldn't work for free, but you expect us to work for free. Matter of fact, we gave you guys free content for almost four years, and then like I said before, you're rich. Yo. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. I'm rich. Okay, let me ask you a question. So Elon Musk is rich. Does that mean that he's not going to try to make money on Twitter and monetize it? Oh man, I. Oh, okay. So. Myron, well, one thing that I will say about him, he's a, he's a good debater, right? He's a good debater. The caller screwed up because he said, you're rich. If he said exactly what I just said previously, this, wouldn't even, this would not even be a conversation right now. It would not even be a conversation because you were able to provide free content because you were getting that fucking YouTube money. This is all on you, Myron. All on you. Nobody else. Burger King is rich. McDonald's is rich. Do they give you free burgers? Hold on. No, no, no. Because here's the problem. No, no, no. Because you sound crazy right now. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Mute this nigga, bro. Because this nigga's... This is stupid. McDonald's gets paid from the consumer, okay? They get paid from the consumer. You were not, you didn't have to get paid by the consumer. You were getting paid by YouTube. YouTube was paying you out. YouTube, Twitch, whatever the hell else, they were paying you out. So you didn't have to charge the consumer. But now you have to charge the consumer because you lost YouTube. Stupid. Bro, bro, let me get this straight. Let, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. No, because you're stupid. You're fucking dumb. Oh, you're rich, bro. So don't charge us. So does that mean that Burger King, you could just walk That's in there and be like, look, y'all niggas rich. Give me a burger. This Can you go to fucking McDonald's? Y'all want some fries? Y'all rich. Give me some fries. Right? Hey, Bank of America, y'all got a bunch of money and you're printing money anyway. Give me some money. Like, how you sound, bro? Like, any business, this is the United States of fucking America, okay? It's a capitalistic country. It means you're for profit. If we're going to run a podcast and do it at the level that we do and have employees, etc., we have to be profitable, okay? You run a marketing agency. You're an entrepreneur. I guarantee fucking T. You will not run that marketing agency uh... for free like we did for many years. And then we come along and we say, look, we're still going to give you 80 to 90% of the content for absolutely free, but you're complaining about fucking after hours. Here's another thing, too, that I find interesting. The content that actually helps you make money that is the most beneficial is absolutely fucking free. Yep. But you're over here bitching about fucking after hours, which doesn't help you make money. So let me ask you something. Do you actually fuck with us? Do you actually support us? If you're sitting here complaining and crying about us charging you for a small portion of our content that's paywall and all the so the thing is a lot of people do not care about your other content and this should be very eye-opening for both myron and walter a lot of people do not fucking care about your the other content that you make those views are way less than your after hour shows so th that should be really eye-opening for for them both other you that we give on castle club you're really gonna sit here and pitch at me about 35 when the reality is for us to run this business and pay our fucking employees and continue to do this shit the way that we're doing at the high fucking level that we're at, where everyone is fucking copying us, so obviously we're doing something right, and we've been doing this shit for free for so fucking long, you're really gonna sit here and tell me, oh bro, nigga, you're rich, just keep giving it to us for free when you got monetized on YouTube, because your ass wouldn't work for free, so why the fuck should I? You weren't working for free. That's the thing, though. You were not working for free. YouTube was, was paying you handsomely, and you screwed it up.
You got demonetized because of you, bro. That wasn't our fault. Yeah. And now yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, caller. Thank you. He said it. He said it. He said it. Oh my gosh, he said it. Shout out to the caller. Thank you. I'm so glad he said it. Yes. You got demonetized because of you. You have to right. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You said you like you've been watching content supporting us, right? Yeah, I've been watching us. Why do you like us? Why do you like us? Tell me why. Why do you watch us and why do you like us? Tell me why. Bro, I mean, I've been listening to you from the beginning, bro. You're definitely empowering men and shit like okay. that. But I don't like the fact that you don't think that you can do anything wrong, bro. Okay, let me ask you this. Gives hold, you on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on one sec. Hold on one sec, bro. Hold on, yeah, one sec. Like hold on one sec. Would it be fair to say that you watch us because we keep it real and we'll tell you what the fuck it really is? So most of the time you don't miss, Ryan. I give you that, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm talking okay, guess what? Okay, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. You just literally okay, admitted. You just literally admitted. I don't miss and I'm truthful when I say what the Do you understand that? Telling the truth in 2024 in a politically correct... Shut the f*** up, I'm talking to you, Shut up. Shut the f*** up. I'm answering your stupid... Oh, but he's not emotional, guys. He. He's he's not emotional though. Stop the cap. He he he's not emotional. You can see the emo. You can see anger. This is pure anger coming from Myron right now. Pure unadulterated anger. <laughs> okay, because you work a fucking marketing job and you don't understand this shit because you're marketing, nigga. You're not the one that's actually in front of the microphone taking the fucking risk we do. So let me tell you what the fuck it is. In the United States of America, 2024, if you want to tell the truth about anything, whether it's COVID, the fucking news, fucking making money, being successful, etc., women, all this shit, guess what? It comes at a cost. Okay, and that. That's not why you got demonetized, though. You got demonetized for making racist jokes. You got demonetized because you're a racist, bro. And YouTube does not want to support you. <laughs> like, it, it's that simple. Most of the times, it's being deplatformed, being demonetized, getting your form taken down, whatever the f*** be. So the reality is this. We told you, it's 2020 when we came on the scene. Enjoy us while you can. We won't always be here. We knew what was going to happen if we continue to tell the truth. And we decided to not f*** well. Stop, stop saying we. Just say you. This is all you. To telling you the truth, whether it's talking about the realities of Jewish power in the United States, or telling you guys about the going on with the deep state, or telling you guys about female nature, or whatever, we're the realest podcast on YouTube, okay? And telling the truth comes at a cost, you see. So look, the very reason that you support us is why we're here today and why we're doing what we do. We haven't switched up and we've said what the we want to say and kept it real. That comes at a cost, okay? The very reason you like us is the very reason we got fucking demonetized and deplatformed on many things. So if you want the truth and you want to tell you what the real, that comes at a cost, okay? And it's not just us. I just named a bunch of creators that have similar viewpoints to us. And guess what? They're all either demonetized, banned, or kicked off all the stream platforms. Telling the truth comes at a cost in 2024. And if you don't understand this as a marketing guy, then you need to find a different profession because I don't know what to tell you. All right? We're not over. He's so, yo, this stoicism is just, I'm just so impressed. I'm just so impressed right now. Look at how calm and how just, look, look at him. It's just, it's just amazing at how calm, cool, and collected Myron is. Like, I hope yo I want to be like him when I grow up I want to be this calm I don't like I don't want to be emotional like this is just this is amazing this is really this is truly inspiring like wow look look at this over here dancing and being retards like Kaisen or Aiden Ross or any of these other we're telling y'all what the it really is and having real conversations about real okay comes at a cost bro it is what it is they want to monetize me for telling y'all the truth and so be it so I'm not gonna bite my tongue and lie about shit to stay monetized yeah the very reason you support us in the first place is the very reason we got demonetized. So don't sit there and get fucking mad when we've been telling you that we're going to get demonetized. Enjoy us while you can, etc. We told you guys this for 20 fucking 20. From Go back beginning. and watch. If you've been watching us, you should know this shit. From the very beginning. And it's crazy. Candace Owens <laughs> made locals after she got canceled from Daily Wire. People aren't saying, oh, what are you charging now? Well, guess what? This is a poor business because they stopped her money. Ta-da. Every creator does this type of content. It's a business, guys. Like, understandably, like, this is what it is. And if you don't like it, guess what you, what you can do? Go somewhere else. It's simple. But you know what's funny? Claim that you've been watching us for years? Like, that tells me you don't really fuck with us. And also, we can charge way more. Yeah, we can right charge now. way more. Because what we do for you guys in Council Club, the meetups, all the, for example, Wednesday stuff, and as well as Zoom calls, and as well, I can't say what's coming, but once I, that hits, bro, that's nothing, bro. 35 bucks a month? Come on, dude. For the amount of risk that we take, I find it interesting that you literally admitted that you like us because we empower men and we tell the truth. Well, guess what comes with the truth, my friend? Silence. Yeah. Because the powers that be don't want you guys to know what the f they talk about. So you can either A, get the real f we give it, right, and support us because we've been telling you the truth and telling you guys what the fuck it is, or B, we can water down our sh start dancing on camera, right, talking about, woo, men and women are equal. Zionism isn't a bad Keep in mind, no one no one is saying this. Like he mentioned Aiden Ross, Kai, Kai Sinet. No one is talking, no one is talking about the things that you talk about. Like no one is saying that. These are not even their subject matters. Like, what are you talking about? No one is saying this at all. They're just literally being themselves. I think, no, don't worry about it. You know, we could talk about fucking egalitarianism and how communism is awesome and all this other bullshit. But no, we don't want to fucking do that shit. We're going to keep it real. Who we says communism is awesome? What content creators are he, is he talking about here? They are by far, by far, the most raw and real podcast that's still on fucking 
And you know what? How I know he's like triggered about this because he's worried about after hours. Niggas complaining about after hours, bro. <laughs> that, here's the thing. That's how I spend time cooking your dumbass because you yeah. are literally the majority of the people that bitch about the <laughs> pay while you <laughs> kids. All you guys do is cry, cry, cry. And I'm not surprised that you're FBA because you dumbass niggas want reparations. <laughs> all you guys want is <laughs> doubts. That's yep. all you guys <laughs> want. Yep. Whatever. We're, we're, and, we're and it's this, crazy. We're we, come back in and we, say what you got. We came so much for three years, bro. Nick, other careers called us stupid because we should have did this from the very beginning. We say, you know what? Shit. We're going to give you guys much possible for as long as possible without taking anything. And look, and this is what things like we just sat there and said, mm -hmm, yeah, let's go ahead and just do a paywall because we feel like it. <laughs> if you guys want the podcast, keep going. We had to do it. Yep. You think I really wanted to fucking do this? Shit? Seriously? You fucking kid? We did this shit because we had to do it. Otherwise, lights are off, nigga. No more Fresh and Fit podcast. I'd be straight. I told you. I would be straight myself. But yeah, but your employees wouldn't. So it's just, it's crazy. I wouldn't even say this if I was a boss. I'd be good. Like, I'd, I'd be fine. Like, damn, bro, you literally have employees. I wonder how that makes them feel. If you guys want fresh and fit, you guys want the guess, guess what? We got to operate as a get profitable. And we got staff too. Holy sh! I believe that we even have to explain this shit to this Nigga, you're rich. Why are you doing the, why are you charging us? <laughs> That's funny, bro. You know what? Let's go to Chipotle. I'm going to say, yo, y'all niggas rich, man. Free give me a burrito. Bro. Just totally give me a burrito. Different. Give me a chicken double meat. Y'all niggas rich. Come on, man. Are you okay. fucking serious? Okay, let's see what you got to say now. Go ahead. Holy f shit, are you done with your temper tantrum, Iron? Like, what the f bro? You just got re rebuffed on that. I, uh, I think it's kind of funny, bro, that I, that I said I was a fucking supporter, and then that's how I'm treated, bro, because I have a Because you're not a real supporter. Bro. You call me all these You're names, not a real bro. supporter. That shit's crazy, bro. Yeah, you're such a man, bro, and you can call people a bunch of names because they don't f with you. That's crazy. You're not a real supporter. Since, since you, already, you, know, you already went off on that shit, bro, and you're just going to grill me and me and shit. So let's go to the next thing. Okay, my, my, my dad. What are you in the complained thing. about? We're, we're in the right now, bro. actually. And you had your one response. So that's it. Chris, time, right? No, no, let this dumbass. No, we're not. What the Say, bro, just make it quick. This is not time for you. Be a rhetoric, bro. Same up your rhetoric. What are you mean, complaining about this time? What happened? Nothing. You hung up? <laughs> Thank God. Anyhow, um, Chris, is it time? Yeah, See, yeah, and yeah. yo, and, and look, guys, we I, I had to have a discussion with this guy because that's a, a criticism we get so much, and it amazes me how people sit there and conflate me being able to self sustain versus oh, well, then you should you said you don't, you don't need to do the podcast, or whatever. Like, what the fuck? If we're gonna do a podcast, it needs to be profitable so I can fucking pay my employees and keep the show running. Sustaining myself is a completely different other thing. I mean, and the fact that they try to conflate the two is incredible to me. That's low IQ. Why well, I feel like they're I feel like they're conflating the two because you keep mentioning it. Like you you keep putting them alongside each other. Like you didn't have to say that when you originally when you went on that rant originally. You said I don't have to do this. Shit. I'll be fine. With it so I I think that's the main reason as to why people are conflating the two. You know, I don't know. They for your own portfolio is separate from the podcast. I mean, like, bro, I don't get it, bro. And fucking incredible. And then, like I said before, I just find it incredible how the majority of our content, especially the content that helps you make money, is absolutely free. And these guys sit here and still complain to me. They don't care about that. They they want the after hours. It's just funny because the guys that are paying for Castle Club, they probably do not even watch the other content. They want the after hours. And those people and some of their fans that really like f fresh and fit but they don't want to pay that thirty dollars a month they probably are only watching the other content because they are getting what what they can at this point because they don't want to spend thirty dollars a month which i understand bro that is that is a legit that is a subscription that is another subscription you telling me you are worth netflix you're telling me you're worth hulu you're telling me you're worth disney plus no you're you're not you don't provide enough like thirty dollars a month is insane and say, bro, like, what the fuck? You, you're like putting after us by the paywall. Like, uh, uh. it's like, bro, like, if you fuck with us for real, you wouldn't complain about this shit. Especially when we've taken a crazy amount of risk that we've taken to come on this podcast and talk about the shit we've done. Bro, yeah. I, don't, I can't think of another pod on YouTube that talks about the shit that we do. No, I can't think of one that's still on. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, either way, though, bro, a real supporter understands what's going on. So, nigga literally said, oh, well, you got demonetized. That's your fault. Okay. Well, why do you it like is us? Your fault. Oh, because you're raw. Okay. So, you, you like us for the very reason we got banned, you stupid. Marketing and we warned you people in Tesla Club that say, Yo, you guys could do XYZ to make more money. We're like, oh, Nah, we're cool. We say no. <laughs> like, we say no. Like, bro, you, you have no sense of marketing at all, then. At all. We so talk with our people, they tell us all the time, you should be putting more shit on the paywall, and we refuse. Yeah. So, bro, we're literally doing the bare minimum when it comes to trying to, like, do a paywall and all that shit, trying to give you guys as much free stuff as possible. The fact that we ever talked to you, ungrateful, non paying Castle Club members on calls, is in itself goes to show that we are willing to fucking give free Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Damn. So now everybody that doesn't pay for their $30 subscription is ungrateful god damn god damn tell them how you really feel tell your fans how you really feel about them jesus christ yeah these guys don't care about <laughs> about their supporters this is all literally just about money yikes wow ungrateful, huh? you, you ungrateful <laughs> proves what i've been saying about you all the time you ungrateful reparation seeking stupid you idiots you fuck Morons always look for fucking blame. All your fucking 
on other people crying about white supremacy. Get the out of here. You're broke. And you can't pay for Cows Club. Not because white people hold you back. Because you hold yourself back. Stop fucking people for being a broke, you piece of shit. That's the end of the show, man. For being a... He continues to call them brokies. I'm sorry. Look, if you guys are fresh and fit fans, like, I feel genuinely sorry for you. Because I... There have been some some supporters of mine that I didn't necessarily agree with or they didn't agree with a take of mine or whatever and we've had words. I would never talk to them like this. At the end of the day, I always said if you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe or you can go elsewhere. That's it. Very simple, very respectful. I cannot I cannot. It's not in me to call people broke to say uh oh, you're you, you are you serious? You can't pay a $30 subscription? Yo, you're broke. I could never say that to somebody because I know that times are hard. Times are really hard out here. $30, that's gas. That's food. That could be part of your grocery bill like Guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This was wild to me. Wow. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you agree with anything that I said? Do you disagree? Please do me a favor. Let me know in the comments down below. Do not forget to share, like, and subscribe. We are almost at 8K. I'm trying to hit 10K by the end of the year. So please make sure that you guys run it up. Please run it up. Um, also, follow me on all of my social media platforms. Those will be listed in the description down below along with the Discord. Make sure you join the Discord. And follow me on Twitch, man. Look, it's September on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming a little more. Um, like I said, I'm not going to tell you guys that you need to subscribe to my Twitch. But if you do, it would obviously be greatly appreciated. It would help me continue to do what I'm doing, etc., etc., etc. But I'm not going to call you a brokey if you don't do it. You see how easy that is? But anyway, that's the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.